Hello and welcome to another Clay Creator Build. Today's model is the Key Stage 2 Astronaut. And we're looking for something, uh, something like this towards the end. Uh, to do this, we're going to need our scales, creator card and tools, pots of clay, and if at all possible, an airtight container, uh, lunchbox, Tupperware, anything like that, um, just to help keep the clay nice and fresh uh, during the build itself. Um, before we get started though, I'm going to go over the key facts of the astronaut. Um, hopefully there's something new in here that you don't know. Um, you can even ask your parents to test you later on using um, our questions and answers sheets. Um, so, fact number one. The word astronaut comes from uh, basically Greek language um, and there are two different words, astro and nautes, it's pronounced wrong possibly, um, but it means star sailor. Okay. Fact number two, uh, the first astronaut uh, in space was a Russian. Um, this was in 1961 and his name was Yuri Gagarin. Um, but the first astronaut to walk on the moon, which is probably the one that's more famous to everybody that everybody knows, was Neil Armstrong. Um, he was American and that was in 1969. Uh, fact number three, spacesuits that the astronauts wear um, protect um, the astronauts um, obviously from the radiation, the radiation of the sun, uh, the extreme temperatures um, of, of space and, and they also obviously provide them with oxygen to breathe um, when they're up there. Uh, fact number four, um, people uh, train to be astronauts from all over the world, lots of different countries, um, lots of people trying to train to be astronauts. Um, but the, uh, the first British astronaut to do a spacewalk, so out in space, was Tim Peake. Fact number five, um, an astronaut space suit costs roughly around about $12 million. Um, so if we translate that back over to British money, um, it's probably just over 9.5 million pounds um, per spacesuit. Okay, so every spacesuit is very, very expensive. Um, fact number six, um, Charles Duke, um, he flew on Apollo 16, which was one of the earlier space uh, missions from, uh, from USA, um, left a picture of his family on the moon. So when he got to the moon, he left a picture of his family on the moon, uh, a little message on the back saying this was his family um, from, from planet Earth, just in case anybody else comes across it um, up on the moon. Uh, finally, fact number seven, um, something that you might not think about. Astronauts have to basically strap themselves down to their beds when they go to sleep at night. Um, if they're on the space station, or if they're on the space shuttle, they have to be strapped in so they don't float around um, and bump into things just because there's no gravity. Okay, facts done and we'll get onto the build. Let's get started then. Um, our first colour is going to be white um, and we're going to measure out um, all the basically all the white that's needed for his body, uh, his helmet and his visors. Um, so I'm going to get my scales on, um, I'm going to turn them on. Um, remember to make sure that they're at zero and they're on the right unit. Um, so the measurement is grams and we, so we need a little G on our scales. Um, and the first measurement, so we're going to do about, we're going to do four measurements. Um, first one is going to be 4.50, so 4.50. And that is going to be his body. That is kind of freaky. That was four, five, one. Um, the next measurement will be his helmet, and that's going to be three dot eight zero. So three eight zero. And then we're going to do two smaller measurements, um, which will be turned into his uh, basically his visor. Okay, um, the smaller measurements is a 050. So if you can remember to keep these in kind of size order, it'll make, uh, make it easier for the next section. So 050, and then the smallest one is going to be a 020. So the final one, 020, <coughs> our smallest one, too big. Too big. Okay. Remember to pop the rest of your clay into the pots whilst you are working others uh, with other bits. I want to make sure that stays fresh. Okay. Right. So we're going to work our way along. Um, we we'll start with the biggest one, which is going to be our body. Um, try and get rid of any lumps and bumps. Um, any lines if possible. 
I like to roll it out into my hands, um, even pressure, which isn't necessarily the easiest for everybody. If you want to use a work surface or what your uh, your tabletop, whatever you're working with, to roll out to get rid of any of those lines, it's it's what works best for you, really. Okay, so I've got a nice round, smooth ball. Okay, what we're going to do with that? We're going to like we're going to turn that into his body. Now we're going to flatten it out slightly, and I'm going to pinch one end. And when I pinch the end, that's sec basically the section where his legs will connect later on. Okay, so I'm going to press down gently. I'm not going to make it too flat. Okay, I'm only flattening slightly. So I've basically made it. Now what I'm going to do, let's say I'm going to pinch at one end, and then I'm going to press down a little bit more. I'm going to press and pinch. And basically the shape we're looking for is this. So again, you don't need to worry too much. You can change this slightly as you go. So this bit at the bottom where I've pinched is where his legs are going to connect later on. So it's basically going to be this way around as we build. Okay. So I'm going to put that down. I'm happy with that. So that stays fresh. I'm going to put him into uh, the airtight container um, just while we work on the other parts. So I'm going to put that into my airtight container. Very quickly, the next ball along, I'm just going to turn that into a nice smooth ball again while we do the other bits because there's a couple of colors to be add, added to these white balls uh, for his visor. So I'm going to just turn that into a nice round smooth ball for now and I can put that into the airtight container as well. Like I say, while we mix and add to these ones, okay? So we now have the bigger one and a smaller one. Um, to the bigger one, what we're going to add is a tiny touch of black. And this is going to be basically the background of his visor. So I'm just going to take a tiny pinch of black. I don't want to, it's probably going to be smaller than that 0.5. Um, and I'm just going to change this into a little bit of gray. So mix that in. If you don't, if you've added too little, grab a little bit more black and mix it in. We're only changing it slightly. If you make it too dark, it's not a problem. You can have a black rim, it's not a problem at all. So just changed it slightly to a grey. And all I'm going to do with this grey is flatten it out. So again, starting off with a nice round smooth ball, all I'm going to do is gently press down. This time we are going to make it quite flat. But try to make it nice and even. Try and keep it as round as possible as well. Because this is going to be his visor at the front of his helmet. So I'm just shaping it a little bit. So we've got kind of that thickness. Trying to keep it nice and round. Okay. Technically, it fits roughly just around about the two centimeter, probably a little bit bigger than the two centimeter on there. Um, diameter wise, it's probably two and a half on the ruler on the other side of your creator card. But again, this can be changed slightly once we see the size of the head and that. Okay, moving on to the smaller one. <clears throat> All we're gonna do now is add a smidge, and I mean another little tiny pinch of blue clay. And this is gonna change his visor to a light blue. Now, you have an option here because I like I, I kind of do this with um, with my visors. Is I only partly mix this; it kind of gives it a marble kind of swirly effect. If you want to turn this into a complete blue, um, like a blue type blue, then put them together and completely mix. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to start mixing, and as they start to mix, I'm going to stop. That's it. Then I'm going to roll that into my nice smooth round ball. If I can bring that to the camera, hopefully you can tell that it's a kind of a swirly marble effect rather than complete blue. And then when I press down, I'm going to do the same as we did with the grey. I'm going to squish it down a little. And now you should be able to basically get that to fit exactly on top of the grey. So I'm going to take my visor and I'm going to just put that on top of my grey. In the middle you should have grey around the outside and then your visor 
in the middle, like I say. So you can mix that completely. It can go completely blue, and it should be kind of a blue tech blue. Or you can part mix and stop like I did. And hopefully you should end up with something that looks like this. Say so with the grey around the outside being the rim of the visor. Okay. So take the helmet out of uh, the, or his head helmet air, out of the airtight container. And we're going to place those together. So we've made it nice and smooth. It's kind of now got a flat a bit where it's been set. Where it's been set, obviously on the bottom, I'm going to then press that down a little bit more. So again, similar as we did with the body, where we get that kind of depth, we kind of still got a round, but I've pressed down and it's kind of made it more of a thicker. So same, I'm going to keep that nice round. And on that side on the top there, you then will add your visor onto the top. Give it another little gentle press down. So you should now have a white helmet with a little grey rim and then the visor through the middle. So if I pick it up to the camera, the body is going to fit on the bottom here and I should have that kind of image. If we can then put them together, so add that to your body. We'll then move on to the legs. So remembering the pointy bits at the bottom here are where the legs are going to go. So I'm going to put my head and body together. We should get that sort of shape. Okay. Whilst we work on the legs, I'm going to again put them back into the airtight container. Lid on and get ready for the legs. Uh, legs again, we're going to go back to the white clay and we're going to do a couple of different uh, <coughs> uh, little circles basically, um, stick them together. So if we can measure out first of all, I'm going to start scales on, double check the back at zero with the grams, and we're going to measure out one gram, so one zero zero of white. And that is going to then basically be split into three. So if it's slightly over one gram, it's okay. So my measurement right now is 110. So I've got 105, which is fine. Wait too much. One zero five. Okay. Clay away again. Keep it fresh. Now these are his legs. Now what we're going to do with these legs, <clears throat> um, like I said, is going to split them. Okay. So we don't need to be perfect balls. Now I'm going to split them evenly into three more. So I'm basically going to have six little balls. So roughly, I will snap them off. But to get the proper size, and it's better to probably just double check you get them the same close to being the same. They don't have to be perfect. You just don't want one way, way bigger than the other ones, if that makes sense. I'm not doing a very good job keeping them even. Perfect. Okay. So again, with these, one, two, and three. So what we're going to do with each of these, we are going to turn these into little discs. So we're going to press down on each one of these and then squish them on top of each other. It's going to give it the effect for his legs <coughs> rather than just be one straight leg. It's going to be a slight spacesuit effect, which will become all clear when we get them together. Fantastic. So I now have my legs. So again, if you can get these balls into pretty much smooth 
round balls without uh, the lumps and the lines, any bumps and anything. Um, and then all we're going to do is gently press down on each one of them and turn them into a little disc. So same sort of depth as we have been doing. So keeping them round but in, with a little bit of depth. I'm going to do that with all six of these. Try and keep them all pretty much the same sort of depth as you're pressing down. So don't press down too hard. Again, if you press down too hard and you make a little mistake, don't worry. Stretch it out, roll it out again, and do it again. So you're happy? I'm happy, I've got six even. All we're gonna do, I'm gonna put three on top of each other. And then the other three on top of each other. And this is basically his two legs. So you should have that effect. Now we're going to get the feet connected quickly, um, but we're also going to measure out a little sole to go under his shoe or his boot. So while we're doing that, I'm going to put these back into the airtight container. I don't want them not to stick to uh, my boot or the body. Back to the white clay, and we're going to measure out our one gram again for his feet. I'm just going to double check that. Yes, one gram for his feet. I'm going to split that in half. So if this is slightly over one gram, it's okay. Again, we're going to be splitting this in half. So my measurement is okay. So I'm at one zero three grams. Okay. Split that in half again, and this is basically going to be his main boot. Okay, and like we said, we're going to add to this in a moment, but we're going to try and get the shape pretty much the same uh, with these before we add the sole. Okay. So again, start with a nice round ball. Again, if you need to use a work surface, do so. All we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of make these into like rectangular blocks. So I'm gonna just press down slightly and then I'm gonna use my hands to kind of shape them to rectangular kind of blocks. Again, your feet can be slightly different. It doesn't matter if you don't get, quite get them rectangular. It's not a problem. Uh, so just a little bit of shape and then all we're going to do is mix a little bit of grey to go underneath like I say it's going to be the sole of the boot so his legs are going to fit on the top here and we're then going to put a little sole underneath so to mix this we're going to use our creator card and we're going to measure out a one centimeter ball uh, again of white and then we're going to add a touch of black again so a one centimeter ball we don't need much Remember when you're measuring on here that once you've measured, uh, rolled it into a ball and you put it on the card, you can still see the ring of the measurement. So one centimeter there, I can still see. And I'm going to take a tiny pinch of black, just a tiny pinch. And again, we're just going to turn this into a little light gray. If you add too much, don't worry. You'll just have a darker sole and it's not a problem. So mix this up. See, I've added quite a bit too much, and I've got a dark grey. Okay, roll into one. Split this in half, because we need one for each of your shoes. And then all you do with this, you try and make it into the same sort of shape as the, the boots that you've done. So, rolling with the ball, you can roll it into a sausage slightly. Again, just a little bit of pressure. And then we're going to flatten it by pressing it down to roughly the same sort of shape as your boot. So I'll press down, place it onto your boot. It doesn't matter which way around you want to go. I'm going to go straight on the top just for convenience. 
So you should have the sort of effect. We'll get the legs attached and we'll get the legs then attached to the body so they can start to all stick together and mold um, before we move on to the arms. So if we take all the bits out now, and we'll get them all together. Okay, so soles need to be turned over. Soles are going to be on the bottom and we're going to put our legs on the top of our boots now. Give them a little mold around. You should end up with this kind of effect with your boot. Same with the other one. Remember, if you are struggling with clay sticking, sometimes it will dry out as it happens. A little bit of fresh clay on either side of where you want to stick. So a little bit of white if you were struggling and they should then stick together. I'm then gonna take this end, so the opposite end, stick it onto my astronauts leg section so the bit that we pinched at the beginning on the body so this is the stage that you should get so it should go on and he should look like this i know he looks a little bit weird right now but once that is attached to the pointy bit at the bottom you can then bend his legs round and make him uh, able to stand up so i've just twisted them around a little bit i'm going to then make it comfortable to where he would stand up. So he would be standing up roughly like this. Just a little bit of molding. So now we have our astronaut. Now will he stand up? Like so. And he falls down. Okay. Right. Whilst that's drying then, we're going to move on to his arms. I'm going to put him back into the airtight container. And his arms, again, are going to be white. We're going to have a little band of blue in there, um, but we'll mix the white to start off with. Um, and the white for his arms are going to be measured out at, sorry, one gram again. So one, zero, zero. And again, we're going to split that in half. So technically you need two zero, five zeros. Okay, roll these into the balls like normal. And we're gonna roll these out, like I say, into his arms. Um, measurement wise, roughly around about two centimeters. Might seem a little bit short, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little cuff on there um, and the hand, and then it'll all become um, visible, kind of the right size of the once it's all finished. So roughly two centimeters, and we're just, like I say, just gently rolling them into sausage shapes. We'll get the blue now, and we're gonna just do a little cuff to kind of stick on the end of there. And we're gonna use it, it, the measurement of the card, uh, sorry, the creator card again. And you're looking for something around about the 0.5 to the one centimeter um, ball. So, and you obviously need two of them. I'm gonna go closer to the one centimeter. If it's slightly under, it's fine. Like I say, don't go over, but again, those two blue balls basically need to be the same size. All we're gonna do with them is press them down, not completely flat, but similar to what we were doing with the legs. Give them a gentle press down. And this is basically between the cuff between the uh, the arm and the, uh, the the glove or the spacesuit's glove. So I'm going to just take the arm and I'm going to place it on the top. Same with the other one. Just give them a little stick. I'm going to do the hands or the gloves now. So back to the white clay, um, and these are going to be measured out again on a creator card. For one centimeter again this time. Okay. So two of these, two more one centimeters. Now 
Now you can add a little detail to these if you want. Try and put a little hand in there, some fingers. All I'm going to do is literally put one little split in there. Um, and then the end that's not got to split, I'm going to just put against the cuff that we spoke about. So it looks something like this. Same again with the other one. And then I'm going to get this onto the, uh, <coughs> the space suit as quickly as possible. So we can get the arm stuck on. So again. After that, we've got just a little bit more detailing to do on his uh, on the suit. So I'm going to put these on at the top. Just gently press them on. Should kind of look like this now. So now we're just going to add a couple of uh, details like um, his air pack. So a little bit on the front and a little bit on the back and then we're going to do a couple of um, basically air hoses. Again, putting them back into the airtight container while we do these next couple of bits. So back to the white again. Scales on. Now for the, these detail bits, um, again, you can do your own little take on it. It's not a problem. So we're, I'm going to measure out <clears throat> a couple of measurements. If you want to take it a little bit off, add a little bit, it's fine. It's completely up to you what works best. Like I say, as always, it's your astronaut, your model. You can design and tweak things um, to make them your own. Uh, so the measurement we're going to go with is, again, back to the uh, creator card. We're going to go roughly for the one centimeter. Um, so just a small one. This is going to be on the front, okay? One centimeter. And what we're going to do with this one, we're going to turn this into kind of a little flat uh, rectangle for the front of it. So again, back to a ball. I'm going to roll this slightly into a sausage, and then I'm just going to flatten it out and make it a kind of rectangle. Now I want it a little bit more flat-sided, so I'm going to just take my tools, or my tool, um, and just give it a couple of squishes on each end just to turn it into more of a rectangle. So it looks kind of like this. Now again, I'm going to do a red and a blue little uh, ball on each of this. If you want to do yellow and red, yellow and red is completely up to you. If you want to just stick with black, it's fine. And so these are all just little decorations, little details, um, and you can change them around however you want. So I'm going to just take a tiny pinch of red, roll it into a ball, and do the same with the blue. Tiny, tiny pinch. If you can get those two balls the same sort of size, you'll get the same effect. So both very tiny pinches for me. And I'm just going to place them on either end of that. Uh, the white. I'm just going to give it a gentle press down. And you should have something that looks like this. And I'm just going to place that on the front on his chest. What we'll do, we'll kind of do a air tank on the back and use the same sort of effect um, and then fix the two air hoses between. I'm going to gently put that onto his chest. Oops. Like so. Back into my container. And we're going to move on to the back part now. Uh, this is a little bit bigger. Um, but you can shape this, you can kind of do this how you want. So again, white clay, scales on, and we're going to go for one gram. So one zero zero of the white. Okay. We're going to kind of do the same thing. We're going to start off with the ball, and we're going to flatten it down, and we're going to make it into that rectangular kind of shape. 
But again, if you want a different kind of shaped uh, air tank on the back, it's fine. However you want to go with. Um, so again, from a ball, I'm going to roll it out into a sausage a little bit, and then I'm just going to press down to make it into more of a rectangle. I, I might point the end slightly. Have a flat of top. So I've tweaked it a little bit on one end, I've pinched it in a little at one end, but you can go rectangle, it's fine. And again, stick into that sort of depth. All we're gonna do, same detail as we did on uh, the front, the red and blue. So if you've done yellow, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna do the red and blue dot again. Um, I'm gonna try and remember which way around. I had red on one side and blue on the other side, and I'll try and do exactly the same. So when it flips over, I'll have basically the air hose going from blue to blue, or red to red. It doesn't matter if you go opposites, I'm going to go again two tiny little pinches. And I'm going to just put that on there. Same with the red. And then all we have to do is stick this on, and mix a couple of little uh, grey air hoses. We should have our main build done. So like I say again, similar to what we did on the other side. Like that. Now I'm not gonna stick that to him right now. I'm gonna mix the gray first before I uh, stick that on. The side, obviously, the side that you put down will stay a little bit fresh anyway. So whilst that's still on the work surface, that's gonna stay nice and fresh. Um, finally then, we're gonna mix these gray hoses. And we don't need a lot of clay for this. So I'm going to make, uh, measure out from our white clay again, zero, three, zero. Oops. Um, and then I'm going to take a pinch of black again, and we're just going to add a touch of, uh, touch of black in. I'm going to mix this into grey again. Now what we're going to do with these is, <clears throat> like I mentioned, is kind of fix them over the shoulder between both air tanks. So once we've got mixed that into a nice grey, we're going to roll this out into a nice flat, thin sausage. So back to a ball. Again, remember you can use a worktop if you need to. And we're going to just roll this out nice and flat. Now the air hoses over the shoulders, don't you don't need to have too much. But what I'll do, I'll try and roll this out nice and even all the way along. So I have nice even air hoses. So I've rolled this one out now, and this is going to be <clears throat> more than enough. Um, this measures on the card eight centimeters, okay? So using our rule on this side, it measures out to eight centimeters. So cutting that in half puts us at four on each side. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to give that just a smidge more of a roll on each of them. And then we're going to fix them all together and that should be was kind of finished with the effect before you do your own thing okay so collector astronaut them <clears throat> and again sticking this on the back so I just put it slightly onto the back of his head and then onto his back which looks a little like this and like I said, we're going to take our grey hoses now and just take them over the shoulder and go between the two coloured dots that you've done. Let's give it a gentle pinch. Hopefully, 
you've got a finished astronaut that will kind of look like this. Air hoses going over the back of the shoulders and then connecting at the back. Now, depending on how you want him to dry, you might want him to stand up. If so, lean him against something. If you're happy with him lying down, it's completely up to you. And hopefully, my guy's going to stand up for a little bit. He's going to fall. So I'm going to leave him to dry, leaning up against something. Go from there. Okay, so free play time now. Um, time for you to basically um, use your imagination, add to your astronaut, build alongside him, maybe do something different. Um, five grams of clay in total. So use your scales to weigh out uh, five different balls of clay. You can use one gram of every color or mix it up between, uh, obviously, them. If you're carrying on with the white theme, you might need five grams of white. It's up to you. Um, use that to do whatever you want. Like I say, it's your time to be um, creative and go from there. Remember to download our worksheets, um, our activity sheets. We've got word searches, crosswords, things like that. Um, and if you are running low on clay, head over to claycreators.com as well to order more. Um, if you have found the Key Stage 2 uh, model a little bit difficult and the scales are maybe a little bit difficult and you want to try and step back a little bit and go back to key stage one to use the measuring spoons more than one to again head over to claycreators.com to order them um, and give key stage one version a little whirl other than that thank you ever so much for uh, watching and we'll see you again soon thank you bye bye